Good morning, people. It is Tuesday, the... I'm trying to be a proper vlogger and tell you the date. The 15th of November. <laughs> there we go, we got there in the end. It's Tuesday, the 15th of November. It's about 9am and this is my last week in London before I move up to York. So I thought I would vlog today. I'm going to start the epic task of sorting out my embarrassingly messy wardrobe. I'm gonna try and minimize the stuff that I take to Australia. So I'm gonna be throwing a lot of stuff out. And then I've got a few things to update you on. Being that I am now no longer bulking, I'm gonna do a little mini cut. I'll explain more of that later. And I'll show you a physique update. And yeah. But for now, I have lots of throwing out and packing to do. Like Good morning, me and my friend are coming at you from York. So I probably haven't spoken to you for quite a few days, but basically I managed to pack up my life in London and move it all here. And I've just been clearing out my room, my childhood room to make room for, cause I had a load of shit in there cause I'm a hoarder, um, to make room for all my current stuff. And now I need to take it to the tip. I, I'll, I'll show you. It's not going to be fun. So this is all out of, mainly clothes, all out of my childhood bedroom in York at my dad's house. And, and this is just, oh God. I can't wait till everything's kind of in its place and stuff so i'm gonna take that to the tip and then i've been trying out this new gym i went yesterday it's pretty good it's quite small but it's it's nice it's not a chain gym so it's quite a nice change to be out of the chain gym and then i'm gonna pick up a few groceries what else i don't know yeah so I'm just gonna do a load of errands. My tripod is still packed away somewhere, so I'm not gonna be able to take you to this gym and I don't even know if the gym would allow me to film anyway, so. Yeah, I'll see you on the next clip. Go, go pee. This is what we're dealing with here. It's really nice to be out of the city in the countryside, but the weather ain't so good. Go for a wee, please. I don't blame you, mate. This isn't even funny, get me to Australia. I've literally just been fighting to get my blooming clothes in those things. The bin bags are so full they won't fit, and it's chucking down. I don't like it, but hey, I'm part of the vlogging in your car crew now. How do you like that? Hello, so it's been a couple of days since I last picked up the camera. I've just basically been sorting out my life uh, since I've arrived in York. So it's been pretty boring really. There's not really been much to film. I've, I've been getting my workouts in, so I've been like trying out a few gyms, seeing which ones I like, and then I'll probably get a month membership because I'm only here for seven more weeks and then I'm off managed to stay on track with my training pretty easily there's plenty of gyms for me to choose from here in york i've found some i've been going for the more like non-commercial ones which i've really been enjoying the only downside to them is that because they're kind of more old school bodybuilding there's not a lot of room so if i wanted to do something like glute bridges or some kettlebell swings i i'd fear for other people's safety so i'm gonna continue searching until i find one that suits me really well so i mentioned earlier that i've started doing a mini cut 
the reasons for this, there's two main reasons. It's not primarily to drop weight because I barely put anything on since starting my bulk. I think I've maybe put on two kilos maximum and that's on a good day when I weigh myself. Uh, so the first reason is because I was getting to the point where I was feeling really, really full and uncomfortable when I was eating my meals. So I was continually feeling stuffed and that in turn made me feel lethargic throughout the rest of the day and therefore not very productive, which I kind of need to be. Being self-employed, I need to push myself and have motivation to get things done. Otherwise I could sit on my ass watching TV all day. So that has made me want to reduce my calories for, so I've reduced them by 500, so I've gone back to where I finished my last cut on. Um, that will in turn deplete me a little bit. I am feeling not quite as full in how my body looks. So after depleting myself for two weeks, I'm then gonna jump my calories back up to where they were and hopefully my body will find it easier to put on mass or weight when I do jump back up into a surplus. I may even have to push them higher, but I'm hoping by doing this, I won't have to push my calories any higher because uh, it's it's not <laughs> it's not very easy feeling full all the time. I know there's worse problems to be had, I know that. Uh, I really did think that dieting would be harder than bulking, but bulking is harder, definitely. So I'm doing that. And then also I I did mention I'm, I'm writing a guide for you guys. I've been working on that and I'm hoping to do a photo shoot at the end of the month so I'm wanting to tighten up very slightly for that. <laughs> the main reason for doing this cut is to muck with my leptin levels so that I trick my body into gaining quicker, hopefully. That's a very simplified version of why I'm doing this mini cut. I'm hoping that by the end of this month I'll have had a photo shoot for my guide to make it look pretty. I know people like pictures and ebooks. <laughs> so I will have had that. And then I'm hoping before the new year, the guide will be out for you guys. So I've written this guide around the fact that a lot of females have come up to me or approached me, messaged me saying that they want to get started in the gym, but they literally have no idea where to start. And I've taken that everything into consideration um, even aspects that people don't think are important so like mindset motivation everything like that it's a comprehensive guide nutrition that's all going to be in there and it literally starts you from scratch even if you do know what you're doing in the gym and you want a bit of structure you'll still be able to do this because it's it can be based on progressive overload as well so you'll be able to go in at whatever level you are at whether you're a beginner or you've been lifting for a couple of years and it will set you up for some progress i've taken a lot of time and consideration and put a lot of thought into it and i really really hope that you guys enjoy it i have high hopes for it i think it's gonna by the time it's finished i think it's gonna be a really good product not to toot my own trumpet or anything like that but i can't wait for it to come out because i like i said previously i just really want to reach a wider what's the word range of people yeah i really just want to help people on a much larger scale than what i physically can do from being there in person and also i know it's not cheap having a personal trainer or a coach or whatever so this this guide it's initially for three months but you can continue to do it for however long you want you can use it to progress as well so that's that. I'm gonna leave you with my physique update. This is me after cutting for about a oh, How long have I been cutting for? It's Thursday. Since Sunday, I started cutting on Sunday. So I've not been cutting for long. So it's still kind of bulking bod. Not that there's, I see that much difference. You might see more difference. I'm sorry this video has been all over the place, but I'm hoping to have a little bit more structure back in my life now. I'm feeling a lot more settled in York and I will catch you in the next one.